This is not the real life. Okay, I just finished getting ready. Guys, I sprayed setting spray in my eye when I was getting ready. My God, it got in my eye. Oh, and it completely just threw me off. But anyway, I can't believe that my extensions still match because obviously I got my hair done last week and I didn't take in my extensions or anything. I was like, I'm never gonna wear my extensions again. Just like make me super blonde. I'm gonna rock the short hair. Um, but they still match. I'm so impressed. I did accidentally try and straighten this so that it like did some sort of little curtain bang thing and fly up, but it kind of just kinked it a lot. So I'm looking a little bit a little bit wonky but it'll go down i could not wait any longer to open this camera with you <laughs> like the pest control guy still hasn't come my hair's looking a little bit wonk but at this point i don't care i've been waiting so long to get this camera and this camera arrived i think nearly like a week and a half ago and i wanted to save unboxing it and opening it with you guys because you guys are the reason that i could get this camera i'm sorry for the awkward laughing i feel like i'm laughing to try and not cry. <laughs> I feel like I need to give you guys a little bit of a backstory while I try and open this. So if you guys are new here or in case you just didn't know, ever since I started my YouTube channel, I filmed on my phone and I started with my iPhone 7 bless. So I started my YouTube channel in like November of 2019, I think. But anyway, in January 2020, I came back to Australia and I got an iPhone 11 and I got it purely so that I could vlog because I couldn't really justify buying a vlogging camera at that point. Like I knew and I've kind of always known that I'm meant to do YouTube and that I'm gonna make it. Not me also waving the scissors around during this fucking speech. <laughs> I don't know if that sounds weird or if anybody else who is a content creator can relate but I've always felt like this is what I'm meant to be doing that I'm gonna make it even though my growth has been oh, hasn't been like super slow but I haven't just like blown up or anything but at the time because I was living overseas I came out to Australia and I got an iPhone 11 I was like it's time to upgrade from the 7 and then I can vlog on that I can film all my videos on that it's just like the best kind of like financial move to do and so ever since January 2020 I have been filming with my iPhone and I <laughs> am the biggest advocate for I don't know if advocate's the right word but if you want to start a YouTube channel start with what you've got start filming with your phone because iPhones have such good cameras for one but also I feel like you don't want to invest and get a camera and a microphone and a tripod and all this equipment and then in a couple of months realize that this isn't for you I get people all the time asking me what I film with and I'm like literally my iPhone 11 so start with what you've got but in saying that i have wanted to upgrade to a camera for so long and i think it's because part of me like i was saying before always knew that this is something that i'm gonna do and ever since i've started it i've known that i never want to give up like i love doing this so much i love filming i love editing i love hanging out with you guys and inspiring you to live um your best life so i've just wanted to have the best equipment not just so that I could like have the best equipment, but so that I could put out the best quality videos for you guys and the best content for you to watch. There's particular edits that I like to do that I can't do with my phone or I can do with my phone, but I have to use Cal's phone. Basically I'm saying sometimes I like to film my phone, like if I'm posting a TikTok or an Instagram or I'm replying to comments or something and I wanna vlog that because I wanna bring you guys along. Because I film with my phone, I have to use Cal's phone to film it and that's just like, a bit of a pain in the ass if I'm being honest. I've just kind of felt like I want to upgrade so that I can give you guys the best content. So I decided, and I actually got this idea from Isabella Lurie. She's one of my favorite smaller YouTubers. I'll link her channel below. Basically, she saved the money she made from being monetized and from AdSense and put it towards buying a camera. And I was like, damn, that is so smart. Not because you just have this money that you can save and then be like, oh my God, I can buy a camera. Like, obviously that's great. But the thing that I 
love about it is that I'm putting back the money that I get essentially from you guys watching the ads back into my channel so that I can make better content for you. I love that so much. So I decided that once I got monetized, I was gonna save the money that I got from you guys watching the ads and put it towards getting a camera. This was back at like, <laughs> before I even had a thousand subscribers. To get monetized on YouTube, you have to have a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours within um, a 12 month period. I made this decision when I had probably like 300 subscribers and I don't know, maybe like 200 watch hours. But like I said before, I've just always kind of like known that I'm gonna get there, I'm gonna make it. I can't explain it. Like, unless you know, I just don't think you'll, I hope, I don't want, I hope you guys understand. I hit a thousand subscribers by my birthday last year and then I was monetized by the end of the year and I started making money from you guys watching the ads on my videos. Oh my god, I really don't want to cry. <laughs> but basically the first couple of months I just made like $20, $30, just small amounts but still amounts. Like I, I don't care what I earn. The fact that I can make money off YouTube is like absolutely insane to me but i was just making small amounts and i was like i'm still going to save everything that i earn and put it towards the camera that i want to get but i don't think i'm going to be able to get the camera for a long time like i didn't think i'd be able to get it until like the end of this year kind of thing so i just kept using my iphone and just learned ways to be able to create the content that i want to create with my iphone luckily cal got me final cut pro for my birthday did you get me final cut yeah <laughs> That's so nice! Oh, sweet. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can put iMovie to bed? Oh, yeah. It'll be so good. So I was able to kind of up my editing skills. Anyway, when we moved back to Australia, I was so worried about losing you guys because all of my content that I made and the following that I got was from living overseas and I would make videos about living in Canada, vlogs about living in Canada, all that stuff. And when I decided I was coming back to Australia, I was so nervous that I was gonna lose all of you guys. Even though I knew I was gonna make it, I kind of had doubts that I was like, what if it just what, what do I do? And I decided to vlog everything about coming back to Australia. And I have videos about all of it on my channel, which I'll link below. I won't go into depth about it because I just looked and it's been 11 minutes and I haven't even opened the camera. But my channel saw a lot of growth over that um, moving home period and I started to make more money than I'd ever made through you guys watching the ads like through my AdSense and then I think it was maybe a month ago now or three weeks I don't know just before I started my job I added up my AdSense amount because each month I can see my AdSense amounts but they were getting paid into my bank but I was just putting them aside so I logged in and added up all the amounts and I was I think about a hundred dollars short from being able to get the camera and based on the earnings that I had made I was like I think I'm gonna be able to get this next month I don't even know why but I randomly went on Amazon and looked up the camera to see how much it cost and it was on sale and it was like $200 cheaper or th I think it was only like $300 cheaper than what it normally was and I was like oh oh, oh like I can I can get this camera. Oh my god, I literally can just remember the moment I was like, Cal, like, I You can just imagine the moment. So I ordered it, and I also ordered a bunch of accessories, which I'm about to open with you guys. I think I have two boxes, and then one, like, parcel, and... Today, we are going to open this together because I owe this camera to you, because without you, I'm smiling because I'm like, I'm not crying. I did not just do my makeup to like cry. And I don't want the pest control man to walk in and be like, is she good? I owe this all to you. This is because you guys believe in me and you watch my videos and you'll painfully sit through the ads to help support me. Okay, anyway, I hope this is the box with the camera. Like I said, I have two boxes and a parcel, but let's just open this one first and hope for the best. <laughs> I can just see a little bit of the box. What's this? Oh, battery charger. I got some additional chargers. <laughs> this is not the real life. Did I even tell you what camera I got? I got the Canon PowerShot G7X Mark III. <laughs> I'm also on my period, 
That's why I have so many emotions right now. This is it. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's open it. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. I feel like I don't think this is real. What's all this? Oh, what else? Warranty card, the manual. Oh my god, I'm about to see it. Right now, all I can see is like the cords, which I'm sure you guys don't really care about. Okay, here it is. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna need a second. YouTuber now. Oh my god, like in the mirror. Hey okay, guys, this is my outfit of the day. I'm wearing my Coachella shirt from 2018. Yes, I did fly all the way there just to see Beyonce. <laughs> oh my god, it's so cute. Oh my god, this is so cool. I should like plug the battery in so I can actually turn it on and see myself right now. I'm just staring at the black screen. Oh my god. Oh wow, it like falls down. Fancy. I don't want to get like my fingerprints on it though. <laughs> oh my god, this is crazy. I can't. Thank you guys so much. Like, I I don't have words and I, I'm trying really hard not to cry. <laughs> okay, so I don't know what this is, but I'm sure I'll figure it out later. But then it also came with a battery charger and I'm guessing this is like the cord for that. Annoyingly, I bought another one of these because I was like, oh my God, I need to buy a battery charger. I don't know why I didn't just like think about the fact that obviously it's gonna come with one, but the one that I bought is a double so I can charge two extra batteries because I bought two extra batteries as well. So at least I have two. Okay, yeah, this is the other batteries, well, the battery charger that I got. Is this actually, I swear it said on Amazon that it fits my camera. Anyway, this is good to have. It literally feels like my birthday. This is the best day of my life, honestly. <laughs> okay, what is, oh my gosh. This seems unnecessary for a box. Are you kidding me, Amazon? That was in this? Oh my God, I can't open this. I'm scared I'm gonna cut myself. Here we go. I don't need a man. Yes, and then these are the two batteries that I got. Sweet. I feel like that's a thing I always hear YouTubers say like, Oh my god, I forgot to charge my camera battery or my camera battery is going to die. So I was like, I'm not going into this camera game with one battery. Like, I'm going to get three. Okay, sweet. And then this is the memory card that I got. Same vibe. I was like, I'm not just going to get an 8 gigabyte or a 9 gigabyte memory card. I got a 128 gigabyte memory card with a speed of up to 170 megabytes per second. I have no idea what that means, but it said that it was good for recording in 4K, which is what I do. So 128 gigabytes, baby. Oh, I'm so excited, guys. <laughs> no, I have made a complete mess, honestly. Like, look at this, but... Oh my god, thank you guys so much. I am so freaking grateful, blessed, all of the nice words. I'm honestly kind of at a loss for words right now. I'm gonna finish today's vlog on the phone because I feel like it's an iPhone vlog, you know? Like, let's give it one last go. But then the next vlog will be filmed on. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah Can you tell me why, can you tell me why